Now ranges are very similar to as the range you apply in the for and all, right? So only the difference is of an alphabet A. That's it, all right? So uh, like if I say this is the first A, A1 and it's NP dot, right? So for the ranges in NumPy, we use a function called as A range. A range means array's range, okay? So array's range of 50, it's similar to the range function. If I print this a1, what you are going to get is 0 to 49. There are numbers from there. Okay. Similar to that. Right. So that is a particular arranged columns. Right. And it goes in the interval series. Like if I say a2. So from 0, 1 to 50, let's say, or from 0 to 100, and the intervals of 2, easy. You get the thing, from 0 to 98, the values will be given. Okay, like that. Now, uh, ranges can be also taken as uh, conversions in the reshapes. Like we have discussed reshape, okay. Uh, let me see in one is there not. Yeah, you can go for like uh, A3, let's bring that. A3 is equals to NP dot and range, okay. It is a range of uh, 100 numbers, all right. And I say that after making it as a range, I'll reshape the numbers. And for now, it is just a 1D. 1D numbers okay it is a 1d number for now that is one dimension from 0 to 100 right now i want to make it as a 10 by 10 that is 10 rows and 10 columns so i'll make it 10 by 10 basically right like this and i'll just print it a3 and you'll find it to be a 10 cross 10 column basically 10 rows and the 10 columns there okay clear you can make a reshape of like uh, 20 cross 5, 5 cross 20, 10 cross uh, 10 is fine, right? So, and the multiples and all will be going to things. Okay. Uh, item size data types uh, might we have discussed. Alright. Next is a function called as empty. Empty. Now, empty is such a function which will create a matrix of a complete null values. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, empty is something which will create a value of an uninitialized uh, array, basically, right? So you'll get an array which is having an uninitialized values and of a specified shape because you will be defining some shapes to them. Like mm, we can say A4, is it? Yeah. Empty. Okay. Now, if I say that I want an empty array of uh, 3 by 2, that means a 3 rows, 2 columns. 3 by 2. And I even define the data type I want as integer of 32 bits. So when I print this, there is no such values what I am expecting from this, right? I can get any value, uninitialized values. But the size I say it is going to be the same. See, the values will be keep changing. You can say it as a random one, okay? But that's the thing. All right, next. And similar to the empty, we have something called as zeros, or you can say it as a null matrix, okay? Zeros are the null matrix. So let's say A5. This 
zeros. Same. Now in this case, it is not such an uninitialized value because we uh, know that the values whatever we are going to get here is only the zero. Okay. So all the zeros that is a complete null matrix we are going to get, right? Unknown sender. So np dot zeros and if I make it the same thing, right? Like three cross two and data type. We don't write the data type. See what comes. Okay, we have printed it. Point. Or right, you can say float, right? So three by two, you get a float of that complete zero. If you define the data type, you'll get that. What you say? Data type equals to integer of 16 bits, let's say. Before that, write np because that comes from the np, right? Okay. Yeah. Or unless for writing in the re shapes or like in our shape, if you just try the uh, print in numpy of zeros of uh, 10, so you'll get complete zero, a linear one. Right. Until and unless you give a shape, you'll get the things. Now, if it is a 10, I can reshape it to 2 by 5, right? 2 rows, 5 columns, I can reshape. And then I can again convert the types to this in the integer. And this can be done. Uh, None type has no attribute of this. Okay, one second. It's not doing a reshape. Oh, okay, okay. So you are using print functional. Mm, yeah. That's a problem. That's a problem. Like this and this, yeah. So two rows, five columns. And then we get the output as. Alright. Next. So similar to the zero. Sir, uh, if, if we use only zeros of this and uh, uh, like np dot zeros, it will return the float value. Yeah, by default you will get the right. float values. Okay. 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 Similar to this, we have once the same. Only difference is in the case of zero, we will be getting once. Writing a six, printing a five should be once. All right, I think that's clear. Sir, I have a doubt. Yeah, sure. Ask. Sir, uh, why we used int 16? Uh, there is no such compulsion that int 16 should be used. I'm giving any such data type. You know, like we have 16, we have 8, we have 32, 64. So you can give okay. any. Uh. Okay. Sir, we can, uh, like you are giving bit by, you know, sir. We can directly put in like data type equal to int. Also, no? Over there. Yeah, yeah. You can write directly. There is no such important to write the data type okay. now. I'm just giving that these are the parameters you can use. Okay. okay? All right. Okay. Next. Where it is? Where it is? Yeah. Here. So this is like once goes on, right? Okay. And uh, similar to this, there is a function called as i. i is something called as identity matrix, which returns you basically the identity matrix of a specified shape. Like if I write an i, let's run this, a8 is equals to np dot an array of, let's say, uh, 3 by 3. Okay. So in this case, you are going to get an don't write 3 by 3 obviously I'm getting a matrix over and okay 
you just write 5 like this so if you write 3 5 anything like numbers you will be getting an matrix of the uh, same uh, length or width you can say say same uh, height and all right uh, rows in the columns let's run this square matrix square yeah you can say that. identity matrix would be better if you say that an array of three all right oh what have what have it should be i of three see one 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 only the diagonals part will be having one the rest obviously will be having zero right so this can be done for 30 now see okay then would be better all right like this now sometimes you will be asked to make a chess board in between all these things how can you make it's very simple 8 8 a 8 of 0 what is that all these things right if you say that a 8 of 0 of 0 becomes 0 a 8 of 0 of 0 is equals to 0 like this if you say inside not inside the print and then you print a 8 you see an array now you see the difference a will not get 0 understood so 0 is not completely this one 0 is complete this because it's inside an array and you are getting a, uh, a 2D right so that's the difference so can you just run the code uh, uh, like for doing all the stuffs a0 zero, zero, indexing of that mm -hmm. can you just uh, re-run the code like before you did this indexing part before that, that portion Okay, you want to read it me? Okay, so a, a, it is equal to uh, an i basically an identity matrix. Okay, and next we have yeah. a8 of 0 of 0. That means a8 is completely this, the 0 of this is this. Okay, and this of 0 is this 0. So that, this was 1 actually. You see the diagonals are 1. Okay, so this was 1 and I made it 0. And that I printed it. Now uh, you can make a lot of ranges like in the list if you remember x is equals to let's say 1, 2, 3 if I make a range. Hmm. Yeah, if I, it's okay. All right. So if I make a range of all these like this for i in np dot a range of twenty five, let's say, okay, twenty five numbers just, and random dot integer number till thirty. And this is equals to y. Now oh, there is a list called as z. And y dot f n. So that is to the z. Okay. Oh. Y should be like Sir, z dot f n. Yeah, z dot f n to be y. And that's it. And let's see the value of z. So we have all these things, right? Now, is there any number which is going to be repeated or which is being repeated? Let's see. So, z dot sort would be better. Hmm. 
not printing. Now I think it will be better if I just print the Z. So we get this, right? 0, 2, 2, okay, 2 is for, alright, so I just wanted that 81 numbers to come. Now, if in this case we use the dot index, what are the index of the two? How many times two has been printed? That is one, right? But in the case that we want to see the number of times the two is printed and on which places, in that case, there is a function in numpy called as where. Here you will be writing np dot where the values of z is equal equals to 2. But if this will give you an error because z is not an numpy array. So you have to convert this here for now. Like uh, for where the values of np dot and array of the z is equal equals to 2. So it says in the position of 1 and the position of 2, which is 2. Alright, that's clear very easily, right? Very easy see the positions right. uh, even you can run a program that uh, for i n x if I again run this see the z value right. so for i in z print i all the values are there right all right now if i once it has been printed right you can see that if i i dot count is greater than one then sir it yeah count count of that would be greater than one would be better like for the integers if i dot count uh, sorry z dot count of this i greater than 1 or oh, what we can do is we can print something uh, index of that number of that number also of the pi dot index like this let's run this integer object is no attribute of it okay 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 Alright, so we are getting values. Uh, let's have this number position. So number is equals to zero, position zero. Number 7, position 1, number 28, 22, 22 is for 3, and like that. That's fine, right? Okay. Like this. But in the same case, we'll go for where, and it's again easy that np dot converting this in the z and equally or greater than 1. So these are the values where the values are greater than 1. Okay. Now the count can be there for the count where there is a function called as for finding the uniqueness. There is a function called as uniqueness. Now this will count for that like how many exact same numbers are there. Like np dot unique. If I say a, b and c. And I say np dot unique of z all right and then return the counts if there is any uh, duplication then return number of counts it is being repeated and also return their index values 
so in the a you will find the values basically 0 2 3 4 5 6 7 11 12 and all right is there anything being repeated let's run this again so in the a we have 3 4 5 6 none is being repeated So that is the unique value, I guess. Unique value returns. Yeah, yeah, that is unique. Actually, I want larger. Uh, let's make it. Mm, where it is? Where it is? Yeah. Let's make it 300. Then we'll get better values. All right. So now you'll see A. So the values. Uh, okay, let's run this. And now we'll see A. The values are from 37 to 273. Okay. So these are the values which are unique values that means these are the original values not the duplicated values then they, there can be some duplicated values then what are those things right so we can go for print b so this leaves 8 9 18 23 4 and what are these things right we'll see here. and the print c this is 1 1 1 1 2 1 okay so 1 stands for that this number is there for one time 2 stands for that the number is being duplicated right so we have only to focus on that np dot where the c value is greater than two or uh, sorry one right so we find two places that is 13 and 14 the c of 13 and the c of 15 this 2 and 2 right so let's say c of uh, 13 right that is basically a of 13 that is 202 and a of 15 that is 230 right okay so z of we we just want to search that np dot where in the array of z where it is equals to 15 uh, sorry 202 so let's see the difference uh, output 0 and 22 number right so z of 0 and the z of 22 if you go for searching you will find 202 for the two times right similarly if we do for the same for the two, uh, 213 uh, there should be paste here yeah. uh, if you go for finding out things 16 and 17 right so z of 16 and z of 17 is 230 for two times all right so that's basically the thing in the uh, np you can go for various things right and how can you skip uh, I say the answer how can you uh, deny from getting any uh, duplicate values or how can you avoid any duplicate values we can use that uh, like if we, if we have the list we can convert in, into that uh, which data uh, yeah yeah so let's say I said you run your code for thousand times and don't get any duplication how can it be done? Set. We can use the set, sir. Sets? Sets uh, don't carry the duplicate value. Yeah. That's fine. So okay. you can, we can append that. You can use sets and you can add values there. Like, uh, in this case, if I say
So we are running the score for 1000 times and we'll see the size. Okay, it has to be given in the set 631. The rest are the duplicate value. In the ES, you will not get duplications. Here, you will not get duplications. Right? So, you can avoid this. The Sir? Yeah. So, duplicate values are those uh, which are uh, appeared uh, more than one time, right? Yeah. Those which are appeared more, more than one time. You can uh, do one thing more that is uh, appending this value, right? For I in range. Now, if this I is in this if, then continue or else add. You should have both knowledge, right? 78. Okay. All these numbers. So I have both the techniques to go up, right? How you can be there, right? So these can be there done as for removing the duplications. Many a times students have doubt how to remove the duplications. Alright, so this can be that easy it is. Okay, next. So uh, range is clear, I hope, right? I zeros next comes the bin space. Now this function is similar to the range, arrange how we are dealing with the range, right? This just gives you a range of numbers in an evenly spaced values. Like you have the np dot length space, okay? And I write that my starting number should be 1. My stopping number should be 10. Okay. And that's it. I done this. So what I get is numbers from 1 to 10. See, starting number 1, stopping number 10. But what is the number of outcomes I got? It's 50. By default, you will be getting 50 values if you don't write the number of outcomes you want. If I write np dot length space, see it's start number to be 1, stop number to be 10, and the number of iterations. That is the number of samples you want is let's say 10. 20. Run this. So you get only 20 numbers. Right? Now what is the interval that is going through? Interval you understand, right? In the range, the same. What is the interval it is going through? You have to keep on like doing like subtractions and understanding. So what you can do is, you can just write a function called as red step, returning the stepping values. So starting from 10, going to 20, uh, sample of numbers 30 and the red step, returning stepping values equals to 2. So in the last after the arrays is being done, you'll get a value that is 0 0.344 something. This is your interval value. That is every next number is after a gap of this. Or you can say like in the progressions we say to be as 
the common difference all right okay fine next now the second parameter i think in the last parameter it is Endpoint is something like if you make endpoint true, then the stopping sequence will not be included. Like np dot length space. All right. Till now, what we are saying that our number is ending at twenty because we want to end at twenty. Now, what if I write ten to twenty with the thirty samples or ten samples? Okay, fifteen samples. Let's say five samples. Which is better? And I say uh, the endpoint. Endpoint to be true. Now, in case you will be getting values from ten to twelve point five, fifteen, seventeen point five, and to twenty one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five values. Now, what if you write false? The number ends at eighty in a different interval. What you wrote will not be taken. Sorry, sir, I do not understand. If I write red step equals to two, in this case you will be getting that return. Uh, the stepping value is two point five, and in this case the stepping value will be. Yeah, someone say something. Can you speak again? Okay? Any doubts to anyone? Yeah, no doubts. Fine. So we got ten, twelve, fourteen. So here the stepping value is two, right? Okay. Similar guys goes with the cases of integer like. Writing data types and all. Okay, you are getting float values, right? Now, what if you want only the float, like data? If you define the data type, you want integer of sixty-four bits. Let's say only the integer values. See, okay. stepping values will be always in the floats. Next is uh, something like similar to the length space. It's something called as log space. Okay. This will return you the numbers that are evenly spaced in a log scale. So by default, the start and the stop endpoints of the scales are the indices of the base, and uh, by ten it is there. Okay, S simple. So like if I run that np dot, let me write. So np dot log space. Okay, log space of let's say the same things, starting number let's say ten, stopping at twenty, number of iterations ten. These are the things. Okay, same. All right. Now, what if you write a base? Uh, from one to ten. Number of ten samples ten, and base with a two. Kind of a different array. See, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, and all. Okay, if you remember, like how logs works. Okay, right. So I think uh, things are clear, right? Next, we are going with the indexing and the slicing.
how indexing and slicing works right there are a lot of things in the indexing and slicing to understand there is a function called a slice if i say slice function i'll make it shorter see i'm taking a uh, range of numbers from 1 uh, sorry from 0 to 10 okay and then i'm slicing it with 1 a2 you'll understand what exactly i mean okay so and then printing x of s getting 1 3 5 and 7 so from 1 to 8, we are going with the intervals of 2. That can be written something as from 1 to 8 in the intervals of 2. 1, 3, 5, 7. Okay, similar to that. I think you got it. Right. Slicing numbers from the starting with the same things. There is no such difference. Reversing it. There is no such large difference between the ranges, right? Only it's like the difference on the uh, dimensions, right? Like uh, let's say x is equal to Let's say my y is equal to, let's say for x of, so when I print my x and y, what do you see? That x is 10, 12, 20, 14, 30, 16 and the y value is 10, 14 and 30. Now how this is 10, 14 and 30? It's very simple, right? The first is x, y is x of 0 of 0, so 0 of 0, what is it, x of 0 is 10, 12 and what is the 0 is 10, same goes with the 1 of 1 and the 2 of 0 and you get 10, 14 and 13, alright, okay, next. If I write some rows and columns, I'm just making it RFC. So let's make a rows. NP dot NP dot rows zero zero and three three. Let's make columns. Okay. 0, 2 and 0, 2 alright 0, 2, 1, 0, 2 and let's see what comes ok so when you run this your rows will be getting Print of rows will be 0033. Print of columns would be uh, 0200. All right, fine. Now, what if I say that y and x, if I say y is equal to x of rows and columns, and next three is out of bound for x. Ah, uh, mm, okay. So we can make it like uh, we can make it as just a moment x equals to when we dot in array. Uh, we are making one two one two four. Okay. 
so let's make it a two dimension 0 1 and 2 and 3 4 and 5 uh, 3 4 and 5 and 6 7 8 and 10 11 and 12 oh, why it is there Uh, okay, this is the X, and now let's see if it works. This meant to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, okay, now let's see X of rows and columns. It 0, 2, 10, and 12. Okay, fine. Right? You might understand what we have done, right? Basically, we have just printed the x of what? The x of 0, 0, 3, 3 and 0, 2, 0, 2. That's it. So, indexing is kind of a bit complex in the case of an empty because you have to understand those things, right? Okay. Next comes the Boolean indexing. Right? All these things are to be practiced. Uh, after this, you will be having like when we will be completing the NumPy by tomorrow. I think we will be completing it up, right? And day after tomorrow, NumPy test. Alright. So, uh, like if you are having the numbers in the X, like now you want to check that how many numbers are greater than 5 in the X or 7 in the X, you can just write 7. So you get the true results just in the last values, right? And you can just find now that okay, np dot where the x greater than seven is equal equals to two. Truth values uh, is okay. More than two operators have been given. Hmm. So it is 2, 2, 3, 0, 3, 1, and 3, 2. Okay. Don't understand it as a two different arrays. It is array of x of 2 of 2, 8. x of 3 of 0, this. x of 3 of 1 and 3 of 2. Understood? Uh, it's running slow. A bit slow. Alright, so 11, 12. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. See, 8. Where from 9 has came? So, 8, 10, 11, 12. That's it. Alright. That is how we make it. Alright. Let's also get up the concept of a NAN and then I'll leave you, right? So you can go with all the functions in detail. Like I think we have done a lot of functions today. A bit lot. Yep. Next. So like uh, you might be have something like not a number nan. Okay. So if we say y is equals to np dot an array and we'll make an array let's say one, two, three, four, np dot nan. 5, 6, 7, np dot nan. Oh, what is it? Like this, okay. Now I just want to check where are my nan values or how many nan values are there. I can just print in the x, oh sorry, in the y. We just want to look on that np is nan in the y. So two nan values are there. Clear? That in the y we want to look at np dot is nan of y. If only we print np dot is nan of y, then we are getting some true and false results. Okay? So we exactly want the true results, not the false. Alright. Now if you want 
the false result you can apply a negation like that print and this negation mark so you will be getting what is that on function invert not supported for input functions and oh okay okay one second, one second. Uh, i have misused compare it should be kept so one two three four five six seven are the numbers which are not the land values in the y like that so this can be done for anything like uh, integer float complex anything okay so this, uh, this is changing the data type sir like uh, you have given one two three for that is in, in type and after you have applied this uh, not it is a uh, returning uh, numpy always gives values in the float always okay even if you write something in the integer you will get in the float always sir always always see like i say np dot an array of 10 and that is 10 right so arrange it all right all this and range of numbers similarly if i make an array so for the uh, like in for the integers when we are making like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Till here, we will be getting the integers. What exactly here we are getting, right? But when there is a concept like, as I said, when there is another data type included, here is what included nan, right? And when you include a float, just a float, only one. A homogeneity is important in case of an array. And you can see, like if just add a flow see difference when you search for anything like in the where if even if you search what do you see float values log space length space any functions where it is where 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 where, where, where. Uh, no okay. this is the position and things you see i ones zeros most of the functions you will see is giving you the float values. And by default, we say it has to be a float. But if you want to change, you can use the data type to get the values. Clear? Yes. All right. Similar to that, if I say z is equals to an array where we can make complexities like 1, 2j, 3 plus 4j, 5, 6, 7j, like that. Now, if I want to look on that, how many complex numbers are there? It seems simple. In the Z, you want to look that NP dot is complex of Z. And you see, these are the numbers which are complex. 0 plus 2J, 3 plus 4J, 0 plus 7J. Then what are the numbers which are not complex? It says copy, paste, having a negation, and that's it. These are the numbers which are not complex. But see, the total type has been changed because of the homogeneity. Okay? Yes, sir. So these are the things. Alright. This can be there. NB, uh, end editor, I think we have discussed. No, no, no. ND iterations, no. Alright. Fine. So the, uh, these are the basic things you can see, right? Uh, let's have the last topic x and y uh, making as two arrays and then we'll go for like basic operations right broadcasting we say this to be like uh, let's say x uh, let's write the term uh, 10 11 12 13 Shapes should be same always. For making any of the additions, subtractions, and all. Let's say, Z, what do you get? 1000, 2200, 3600, 5200, right? 
you can do a lot of things. We'll see tomorrow all of the things, right? In your dates, like z divided by y, z plus y. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, sorry, what do you say? Someone say something? Sir, is it uh, doing the operation on an index basis, no, sir? Index basis, see? 10 plus 100, 11 plus 200. Right? With the z, z, what is the value of z? All these things, right? So, 1000 plus 100, 1000. 2200 plus 200 and all those things are okay. okay. See what are values you get? All the basic arithmetic operations and all what we used to do basically. It can be done, right? So is it possible to make a array using X and Y? Make an array using X and Y. Like if, uh, yeah, X and Y. The two variables. Yes, sir. Okay. You want something like X and Y kind of thing. Unicodes, basically, are these things. No sir, no sir. That, that uh, first array we have created x uh, for parts. Sir. The, no, not the x variable, sir. It is the array, but that np dot array, that oh. x. Yeah. So can we use that now after declaring x as an array? Can we use to build another array, so x and y? Like x and y are two arrays. Mm -hmm. So can x and y to build another array says x. Uh, Z. Z. You uh, you want to say that can we declare another array with the same name? No, sir. Using that, like X is an array, one dimensional array. Hmm. Y is uh, one dimensional array. If you want to uh, build a, a two dimensional array using X, Y, and let's say Z, what uh, we are getting from the Z. Hmm. Uh, can we use X and X, Y, and Z to build two dimensional arrays? Two dimensional arrays with this X and Y you are asking for. Yes, sir. Like these, these all three arrays are one dimensional. So, can we use one dimensional, three one dimensional arrays in building uh, the two dimensional array? So, it is, yeah, can be done. Simple, you do any operation. Done. So I'm not seeing this. Sir. I'm like a uh, score. Uh, so just go up the uh, upside, like where we have declared the x. Yeah. No. Can you make an array. 11, 12, 13, and then the second row, uh, 100, 200, 300, 400, and the third row is 1000, 1200, 1600, 50, Can we make that the third, uh, like, like this? I'm actually not getting what you're trying to say. Just let me think. You are trying to make an array, okay, and you want 10, 11, 12, 13, something like that, then like sir, the first row will be 10, 11, and uh, 12, and 13, okay? Mm -hmm. Second row will be 100, 200, 300, and 400. What is the value, mm -hmm. uh, what's the value of 1? Okay? And uh, the third uh, row will be uh, 1000, 1200, 3600, 200. That is the value of Z. Okay. That can be done using matrix function. We can make it. 
MP dot matrix, something is there, and even simpler can be done. Like one second, uh, for here you need MP dot info and MP dot matrix. Run this, you'll get where is it? See, something like this. You write the things and you make a matrix like that, you write in this manner MP dot matrix one, two, three, four. Okay. You want three, three matrix, two, two dimensional matrix, you will have to write something like this. One, two, three, four. So you want something like NP dot a matrix of three dimensional or two dimensional. So you want uh, 10, you want 100 and you want 1000 in the first place, right? And then not, uh, not, not writing explicitly, sir, like can you use the x y and z x y and z okay so you need to write x of 0 then like see like what is x of 0 it's completely 10 okay like that yeah so you can use yeah. np okay, okay, okay. I got it, sir. I got it. matrix all right okay. got right yeah yeah, yeah I got it. so you can make it like that two dimension x of 0 and x of uh, 1, I'm uh, sorry, say, y it is, y of 0, or you can even write a for loop making it as a kind of for loop, yeah, z of 0, same, let's do a bit of copy, paste, 1, 1, one space two 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 so if we have missed something somewhere what is that zero oh okay Invalid. <laughs> Why? Oh, we have missed something brackets. Maybe the matrix. Okay, just a moment. Yeah, is it here? Yeah, just fine. Bye, 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 bye. One, two, three, four, having commas. Yes, that's fine. Starting from two. And ending at two, then having in between a lot of problems. That's a problem. Oh, oh, it should be I've been here. And the bracket should be here. And why is it this? One, two, and inside one. V one three, exactly.
like this. Rest will continue tomorrow, right, with the uh, 